So my daughter Erica is getting married in November, and uh, I mean, don't tell anybody, but her fiance is a firefighter. Anyway, they want to cut the wedding cake with an axe, but not just any axe. They want to do it with a fire axe. So our plan is to take this one here, which came from BB Mart. We're gonna cut the handle off, take the black off the head, because that's obviously got to be red. Fire department, red. And uh, we're gonna put a very nice cherry handle on this first things first we're going to try and drill out the head Let me try something maybe a little easier trying to do is maybe just heat it up enough so that it melts aside and this head will just pop right off. Back to drilling. The heat didn't work. We managed to get the head separated from the handle. I thought that epoxy was all the way from the bottom to the top but it wasn't. Okay, now we're going to clean this here out and then we're going to take the block off because we need to put another finish on it. I'll be taking my time and make sure I get it done right. I've got the black taken off and sanded off. Right now this has been sanded with 220. But I think I'm going to have to back that up to 120. Then go to 220. I think it went straight from 80 to 220. That didn't work out well. I got a basic shape of the handle. Marked out on here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that shape or not. But it'll do for now. I'll do it. So basically, I'm going to find the center of the piece here. All we're doing is going corner to corner. Now this X right here marks the center. Dogs are losing their mind out there. I don't know that you can all see that, but I'm blocking the light. There's an X in there, and it is in the center of the opening on the head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the head on there where it's supposed to be. Line it up, make it straight. And uh, while that kind of bled everywhere, it's going to give me an idea of where to be. I can still see my axe. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I can still see my axe. Obviously, I hit a little too hard. I got a little carried away with the paint. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Well, it has been a couple of weeks. We are back. Uh, we got the axe head back from the engraver. I'll show you the engraving after I went ahead and masked it off because I wanted to make sure I did it right. We're about to paint it to look like a fireman's axe. Go figure. Well, you all just bear with me while I get the paint booth set up here. Axel's here. He's going to help me paint. It's not too cold today, which is a good thing, because that would have uh, certainly hampered our efforts. Alright, now I was looking for a piece of wire and couldn't find it. The reason I'm looking for a piece of wire is because if I use a string, this has got to be painted. Now, I can touch that up after, that's really not a big deal, but if I don't have to... I'd rather not. Plus, you got all these little strands here. I don't like that. Alright, so I've cut off all the little flyers. I think we're going to make this work. Uh, worst case scenario, when I cut it down, I'm going to have to touch up the spots where the string is. I had, I had wire just for this sort of thing, but somebody must have needed it worse than I did. We're going to start off, we're going to put some primer on it. Now this isn't going to be used in the field or anything like that. They're not taking a camping that I know of. 
uh, because it will scratch the etching off. Uh, ask me how I know. I dropped it a couple of weeks ago and scratched the logo. Uh, so yes, I rushed back to Ruby's and Chatham and had it engraved all over again. Erica doesn't know this until now unless she's watching this. Had it re-engraved and now we're doing it again. But uh, it will scratch off. So this is just going to be uh, for show. They're Like I said, they're going to cut their wedding cake with it. And then probably put it on a shelf somewhere. And that's going to be it. So, And we went with uh, the Cadillac. We went with Premier. And it is a Cadillac because it says Premier. Does that make any sense? Cadillac Premier. Cadillac's a Premier car. Premier paint. Fireman Red. Whew. If you all know anything about uh, cops and firemen. The myth is that they don't get along. We all get along, but the myth is that we don't. So this is the back side of the axe, there's nothing on it. This side, we got the logo taped off as well as the actual blade. Get the primer on it here. We're not looking for runs, okay? We don't want runs. One problem I may have is this head sat in my shop all night and it was cold. So we're going to give it a little bit of heat. Just a little bit. Alright, so that's one coat of primer on there. You can see the few scratches that are in there. That's going to fill the scratches. Uh, no runs. That's what we're looking for. Because that's going to require me to sand. All right, our second coat of primers on there. It's looking much, much better than the first, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and put a third on. Or should I? You know, I might want to stop while I'm ahead. Because if I go put a third coat of primer on there, and it runs, I'm going to get mad. So we're going to let that dry up, and then we're going to hit it with the red. All right, we are going to do the same thing with the Premier. We'll call it Fireman's Red. This just says multi-service rouge, if you're French. Diesel. i pretty sure you can't help, buddy. You mind? What do you think? You want to give me your opinion? Diesel has found the working sleeve over there and thinks it's playtime. We're going to go with no. Diesel, come on. Oh, I want you to get paint on you, buddy. Come on. All right, same with this. I'm just going to dust it with the red. Put a couple of coats on it. Hopefully, we can get it covered up. Because the last thing I want is a run. For once, I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. I know. I know it's a bit of a oxymoron but you know diesel come on you're gonna get red buddy go gonna get red come on now you gotta, you gotta work with me here Stay back about 14 inches. Oh, a little thick there. Come on, don't run on me now, please. Let's be friends. All right. I'm going to let that dry up, and then we're going to put another coat on. Sounds like them two are trying to kill each other out there. You guys a close-up on here I think coat number two is gonna be it I think we're gonna let this sit here and dry for a couple of hours with the heat on 
and then I'm going to touch up right here where the string is on the sides here because somebody needed my wire Alright, let's get to work on the handle. This is an easy way to bring out some character in the wood. You hold it in one spot and it'll actually burn it, but we don't want a, any blotchiness. Realize you all weren't in frame there for a minute. There we go. Not too dark, not too light. And you can see in spots where it may need a little more. And there we are. We'll let that cool off, hit it with a little bit of sandpaper to lighten it up just a little bit, and then we're going to oil it up. Alright, I just hit this with a little 240 by hand. Uh, we knocked some of the real dark stuff out of it, this stuff right here, and lightened it up just a little bit. Now it all pretty much matches all the way around. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm sure you all heard that. Uh, that's... Ella and I's little thing there. We have a cat named, well, you guys have met Louise in other videos. She calls her Louie Buns. We usually try to embarrass Jen in public. We'll go somewhere, say a Walmart or something, and one of us will be down a couple hours over and we'll yell Louie Buns. And Jen curls up in a ball and tries to avoid us at all costs. Back to the axe. Anyway, this is pretty much finished. Uh, what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to let that dry. As soon as this dry, we're going to mount the head. And then we're going to put the finish on here. Zero W20. Y'all laughed until it worked. Zero W20. Save your old oil. Now we got to make the wedge. I don't have a bandsaw. Which would be nice. So it's by hand. I'm getting too old for this. I'll get back to you in a second. There we go. Not bad. We'll touch that up on the sander. We'll be good to go. Well, here we are. Took the masking tape off it because I did not want it to peel the paint back when I took it off. It's pretty much dry. All dry to the touch. I did leave two marks on each side where the rope was, so I'm going to have to touch that up. Other than that, we turned out pretty good. Alright, let's take it out of the paint booth and hang it. There we are. head on there as best we can gotta make sure it's on there straight We got our wedge cut down to the right shape and size. We get it put in. As you see as the wedge goes down it starts to fill out the eye. Make 
make sure that's all straight, which it is. Well, we are closing in on the final stages of the hatchet build. We're supposed to cut the wedge off, then we're going to oil up the handle, and that's going to be it. <laughs> Wedge all sanded down, no time for the final step. Told ya, Joe W20. Mentioned it before, why do you use motor oil? Well, it's oil for starters, and two, it's already colored. Because it's used. So, it comes out dark, just the way we want it. That's looking really nice. Turn you down here, tip you down here so you can have an eyeball on that. Okay, well, we are done. I like it. I hope Eric and Luke like it. There we are. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Anyway, Eric and Luke, I hope you uh, like the hatchet. Hope it does what you need it to do, which is simply cut a cake, which I didn't sharpen it, by the way. I didn't want any accidents happening anyway that's all i got for today's video i hope you all enjoyed that so having said that please hit that subscribe button before you go we'd love to have you all along like button share button because it really helps out in the youtube algorithm so as always get outside and enjoy the outdoors later